do 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 happy saturday welcome to the may you roll and uncut um let me make sure you all can hear me well um this is kind of announced earlier but um hey mike i didn't do like an official post like i usually do so um i might wait for a couple people to get here but i don't like having to edit so i'm probably not like maybe one minute and um hey rietta hey girl hey okay so if you can't tell by the title it's titled his wife called me so <laughs> let's just go ahead and get this thing on a cracking now i am a big ad advocate for online dating so i do you know participate in a couple of the apps people coming in tonight they must want the tea or y'all not out in the streets where you should be having dates hooking up i'm mean, not hooking up like having dates the so hanging that audit but anywho so i'm a, bi a big advocate for online dating i do the tinder which I know some people think is just a hookup app. I do Bumble. I did Hinge for a little while, but it seemed like I was getting a lot of younger guys there, which I might need to go back to that. But, you know, we'll see. Um, so I'm all for online dating. If you want to do plenty of fish, go for that, too. I tried that, too, but it's just it's a lot of stuff, that you have, a lot of trash in the seed. So you have to sift through all of that. And I just was like, no, man. OK, so this is the first time that this ever happened to me so i'm in my car driving to work it's a normal i want to say it was friday i think it was friday it was either thursday or friday i know rietta but you know you gotta do what you gotta do so it's like either a thursday or friday it's early obviously because i'm driving to work and i had a couple missed calls from some numbers that i didn't recognize yesterday but i didn't recognize and they didn't leave me a voicemail so i didn't bother calling them back so I'm driving to, uh, to work on either Thursday or Friday and my phone rings and I have all my stuff set up in my car. Y'all know how I do because I'd be like going live when I'm driving. And I get this call and this guy's name popped up. Um, I had his first name, his age, and the app that I met him on. So I was like, oh, okay, so I click and I say hello. And there's a woman's voice on the phone. And she's like, is this a Mayu? And I'm like, first of all, okay, first of all, you don't call somebody's phone talking about, is this so-and-so? First of all, you got to announce yourself. So I was like, could be, who is this? And he says, she says, this is Mary, I'm just using a fake name, Mary Brown, Mr. Brown's wife. I was like, oh, no, yeah, I just don't happen to me. I don't, I usually can weed these mofos out. So I was like, oh, okay, I didn't know that he had a wife. Now, mind you, this is all on the call while I'm driving to work. She was like, yeah, the lady, she was like, yeah, um, this is, you know, Mary Brown, and um, I'm Mr. Brown's wife, and um, I was just trying to find out who you are. I'm like, well... I met Mr. Brown, we're going to call him Mr. Brown, on an app, um, on a dating app called Bumble. She was like, now why this was important, I don't know. She was like, he said that he met you on Craigslist. Pause. It's 2019. Who the heck is still on Craigslist? I mean, unless you're selling, um, I don't know, Tybo DVDs. I don't know why anybody's even on Craigslist unless they doing that or maybe selling some tail. I don't know. So, and I said this to not all of that, but I was like, pause. No one's on Craigslist anymore. But anyway, sorry, that's neither here nor there. I did say that part to her. Um, no, we met on an app, um, messaged a couple times. Haven't met the guy yet. Thank God. Um, no, so there was no physical interactions. There really wasn't anything inappropriate. Like there was no x-ray texting or anything like that. Only thing that was wrong was that this mom was married. Hmm. And I don't talk to married men. Okay. That's not my thing. Um, I might deal with, with someone that's separated, but that's got to be like, I need to know like for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? Cause sometimes there's paperwork, but that's neither here nor there. So She's like, yeah, I met, she said that he, he said that he met you on the app. So I'm thinking in my head. So obviously either you maybe saw his phone one time or saw my name come up somehow. And he already started lying. 
So um, I said, no, I met him on an app. We texted a couple of times. T we never talked on the phone. And that's one thing that I thought was interesting. Now, mind you, we'd only been communicating for about two weeks. So, hey, you know, it's, I'm, matter of fact, I don't even know if it had been two weeks. Yeah, I think maybe. Maybe it had been like one week. So we hadn't actually had a verbal conversation, but it seemed like he was always busy when uh, we were supposed to have conversation. Also, he told me that he um, he couldn't do anything this weekend. Yeah, so it had only been one weekend because he was taking care of his sister who has cerebral palsy. Now, I, and I told him that. I was like, this is this motherfucker told me that he couldn't meet up because he's taking care of He was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, he does have a sister that... Um, you know, does have health issues, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to get to y'all's comments in just a minute, but I just want to get through the whole story real quick. So I was like, yeah, no. Um, so yeah, so I just let her know everything. I had never met him before. We never had any physical interactions. I don't know who he did have some with me, but not with me, okay? Um, and she was like, um, can you send me his like profile information or whatever? I was like, sure, I'll do you. I can, I can do that for you because this is my thing. Couldn't do it while I was driving because obviously I was driving. So when I did get to work, I screenshotted the profile, the pics, um, some of the conversation. It wasn't a lot. Like I said, we'd only been talking for like about a week or whatever. Um, and sent it to her. I was like, I will be blocking this number after I send you these photos. And that was that. So I did what I said. I sent the pictures of the profile. Um, matter of fact, before I even got a chance. I guess she wasn't sure if I was going to actually send the information. She sent me a family picture of her, him, and their baby. He was like, yeah, she told me on the phone, yeah, he has a seven-month-old baby at home. I was just like, oh, precious. And I was like, you know, I'm sorry you're going through this because, you know, I'm not going to apologize for nothing I did because I ain't did nothing wrong. But I'm sorry that you're in this situation. Um, I will send you that information. So I went ahead, sent her the screenshots of his profile on Bumble and um, blocked her number. So that was my experience. That's my story time for um, Bumble. Um, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop using the app. I actually, I started talking to two new dudes today. But um, yeah, that was crazy because that's never happened to me. And at first, when it first happened, I was heated. I was like, I was like, oh, you just disrespected me. You gonna disrespect me? Like I was angry. Um, but I mean, obviously, it's not about me. So if you're cheating SOB, that's just what you are. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and read some of these comments. Let me read these comments and come uh, reply back. Hey, okay, why is she calling you? That's true. Why is she calling me? And this is what I was thinking. Unfortunately. Not unfortunately. The reality of the situation is there's somebody that's cheating. They're probably not going to be honest with you. And men like to want to make you think that you crazy. And so what I decided to do was like, here is your proof. I am done. Like, I'm out of it. Like, you brought me into this. Okay, I didn't choose this. You, dude, you brought me into this. So, you know, one person, another person said that I shouldn't have done the screenshot. But I'm like, why not? Look, she came to me. I had the proof. There it is. That's your business. Have a nice life. Because I would have been real pissed off if we'd have been out having a coffee date at Starbucks and then the darn cheaters van done rolled up on me, got my face on here, probably end up having a fight. I don't need that. So I felt like if I was in that person's shoes and I was suspect, suspicious of my person cheating and there was a way I could get proof, I would rather get the proof. So that's why I went ahead and sent the info. So let me see. <laughs> Rietta said back page. <laughs> yes, don't call my phone. Yeah. Oh, and Rietta said, he or she already knows he's a cheater. Yeah. And the thing about it, it, it don't be no ugly ones. Homegirl was cute. Like, you know, he, he ain't had no busted wife at home. Not, not that that's the reason to cheat, but I'm just saying, like, she looked, she was pretty. Like, they're a little couple, you know. They look cute with their little baby, you know. Little big head baby, but, you know, whatever. Um, calling you was a waste. She just gonna cry and stay with them. Hey, but that's her choice, though. It's in your hands now. You want you want to stay with them. Uh, what else? Do 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 do. All this conversation. Well, girl. Well, love. You know what? I had nothing but time because I was just driving to work. Now, had I been on my own free time and just doing I don't know anything more productive, then I probably wouldn't have even entertained. I I don't know. I don't know. So uh, let's see. See if there's any more questions. Happens all the time. Even easier with online dating. Right. And that's the thing. It makes it easier, but it doesn't make someone who doesn't cheat cheat. Like, it's not a thing. Oh, cheated. Exactly. Um, let's see. She's going to call you again from another phone to visit. She better not call me. 
<laughs> just, you know, I'm just saying that. I okay. I'm sorry. I'm talking about. <laughs> But yeah, that was my little um, adventure. <laughs> that was like two weeks ago. And yeah, like I said, I blocked the number. Like I said, I don't know what she's on. I don't know what, you know, her situation is. They've been together four years, married for two years, got a seven month old baby at the house. Yeah, she gave it a whole spiel, y'all. But um, that's it. Um, I pray to God that I'm never in this situation. Uh, uh, yeah, because I, I might cut somebody. So, yeah. Um, see, <laughs> I don't want to be on no darn cheaters. <laughs> that is not how I want my claim to fame, okay? But that's it. I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, so, yeah, this has been story time with me. And, um, yeah. FYI, I might be doing a 21-day keto challenge starting in December. Because your girl done just got fluffed a little bit. So um, I will let you all know about that one. And um, I will catch you all later. This has been a May You All Real and Uncut. Thank God I wasn't on cheaters. <laughs> y'all have a good night. Bye.